the sound of silence that calls. We're cutting like knives in a fist fight. No, no, I said we needed the wells by April, Claire. April, otherwise it's useless. Because this is the time of year they need them down there. Yes, of course they'll be down there for next year, but how many Ugandans will have died by then because we didn't build the wells in time? You know what, Claire? I'll fix it, like I fix everything else. No, no, don't call anybody. You've done enough. Are you ready? I'll never be if people keep calling with incompetent questions. That's what I go through at the courtroom every day. You lawyers always find a way to deal with it. The time should call soon. Oh, the you. Yes. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time. You will. You'll find a way to fit everything in. Hey, is everything set down there for your arrival? It better be. That's it. It's the call. Never mind. It's just Ralph. Yes, Ralph. No, I told her we'll meet them down there. Tomorrow, I'm flying today. It takes a whole day to get to the other side of the world, Ralph. It's not my fault we haven't invented something faster than airplanes yet. Calm down. I'm the one about to have the most important phone call with the Times, and you're the one stressing? Relax. We'll meet them down there tomorrow and do the presentation. You have the pictures, right? Then we'll pitch the proposal. No respectable human being will hide their wallets after they see those pictures. And see if you can bring in a couple of natives. Yes, natives. We'll bring them in at the end of the pitch to show the immediacy of what we're talking about. Some of them close to the end. No, nothing extreme. We want them to take out their checkbooks, not throw up all over the floor. What's that? They're not called natives. They're called what? I don't care what they're called, and they won't care what we call them either when we save their village. Just bring two of them to the meeting. The skinnier, the better. There he is. Hey, your dad's here. Hold on, Ralph. My dad? What's he doing here? He's here. He's coming up the steps now. How did he know I was flying today? Um, I... Uh, I'm not here. Tell him I'm not here. There's your car right outside. I flew a day early, and you're overnighting my bags before you fly tomorrow. No, 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 no. He'll know I'm lying. My father-in-law's always know when the son-in-law is lying. It's... It's nonsense. It's scientific nonsense. You're a lawyer. You lie for a living. Oh, but I can't lie to your dad. Look, believe me, I've tried. Look, at a trial, I say whatever it takes to win. But with your dad, I'm the, the holy embodiment of truth. I don't care if your mother Teresa's illegitimate son with Gandhi, you're my husband, lie for me. No, Zoe, I can't do it. I don't have time for him right now, Kevin. Help me out, I'll be in the kitchen. Yes, Ralph. No, of course I'm still here. Okay, what we have to do now is... She's not here. You're lying. What? No! How did you know? You're the worst liar I know, Kevin. And besides, her car is right outside. She flew out a day early, and I'm overnighting her Kevin? bags. I had to try. Where is she? She's, uh, in the kitchen. Zoe? Sorry, honey. She's gonna kill me. I feel your pain. Oh. <laughs> Look, Dan, Dan. Maybe this is not the right time. Maybe I shouldn't have called you. Not the right with... time? Whatever their time is there, Kevin. She is running out no. of time. You no. know that. I know, but Zoe is flying today. I fly tomorrow. Zoe, has... it's your father. Look, can't wait till she gets back. How long will she be down there? In Uganda? Whatever. Or... Wherever, whatever third world country seems to need her now. Well, it's three weeks in Uganda. So, three weeks. Two in Ethiopia, one in Kenya. Six weeks. Two in Zurich on the way back. Two months. Yeah. Do you really think she'll hold on for that long? You were there when the doctor came in. You saw her with your own eyes. I know Zoe didn't bother to show up, but you were there and you saw her. Do you really think that she will be here whenever you two get done playing Save the World? No. Zoe! Ugh. No, Ralph. I told her by April and she didn't come through. She's got to go. My hands are tied. What do you want me to do here? Listen, I gotta finish packing. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Get some sleep. You get cranky at work when you don't sleep, and I'm having none of that. Hi, Dad. Thanks a lot, honey. I tried, Zoe. Look, could we talk for just a minute? I don't have any time. I'm leaving on a plane in 30 minutes. Is that true, Kevin? Three hours, but she really is in a rush. Okay, what do you want, Dad? Perhaps you could start by not having your husband lie to me on your behalf all the time. Done. No more lying at home, Kevin. You know it's not a nice thing to do. Anything else, Dad? 
When are you going to go see her? Not right now. You see all these bags lying around? They gotta be on a plane to Africa in less than three hours, and I gotta be on that plane too, so not now. So, she's your mother. I'll see her when I get back. I'll be back in a week. Don't lie to me. What are you talking about? I'll be back in 10 days. He tops. knows. Well, thanks, Kevin. What a great help you're being today. So all I try to do is... Could you go get the other bag while I briefly talk to Dad here? Or is that too much to ask as well? What other bag? There's no other bag. Could you go get the other bag? But there's no other bag. I think that's code for leave us alone, Kevin. <laughs> oh. The other bag. Of course. Yeah, anything you want, honey, you just ask whatever your heart desires. Okay, Kevin. The other bag. Go get the other bag, Kevin, of course. Defense lawyer. <laughs> Take everything literally. You've got two minutes. Five. Two and a half. Four. Tick tock. When are you going to go see her? Not right now, I'm but not. But when? When I get back, She maybe. needs to see you, Zoe. I told you, I can't go see her. But she needs you. There's nothing I can do. Just promise me that you'll talk to her before she's She's gone. beyond help. She might as well. Zoe! This is your mother. She is dying. How can you talk about her like that? Dad, perhaps you've forgotten what she did. What she actually did to me? Perhaps you've forgotten all about I it. I have not forgotten. I think you I have. have not. Should I remind you How this? can I forget, Zoe? Then how can you come in here and demand I go see you? What else was I supposed to do? I know what she did was horrible. To you. To everybody. To you. She messed up. I haven't forgiven her myself, but that's because it's not up to me. It's up to you, and she knows that. All she wants to do is see you, to say I'm sorry to your face. It's the only thing she's asked for. Look, she won't eat or take her medication until you've come. She implored me to see you today. What else was I supposed to do? Tell her I can't see her. It's the Times. You cannot punish her yes, like this. Yes, no, of course I can talk. Unicef Zoe. said it's a go. Yes, what we have to do now is capitalize on the momentum. Go down there and show them Zoe, who's who, you know? can't we finish talking? Right. No, we'll Zoe. focus on what we have Zoe, now please. in Kenya. We'll have plenty of time to move east. It's Iran, not Iraq. Zoe. Iran is an end. No, we really don't care what CNN says. We'll be there. Zoe, listen the to me. Thing, nothing will stop Good us from say. helping the children in Rwanda. Make will you sure listen you to me for a minute? Exactly like that. Nothing will stop us from father. helping those children. We need to make sure we do everything we can. Do I have to be suffering on the other side of the world to get your help? Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. You need I, I to leave now, Dad. Uh, Kevin, well, at, at it's your I'm... fault, too. You know that, right? You think I forgot you were also to blame? I know. You're as responsible as she is. I know. It wasn't just her. I trusted you and you let me down just like she did. I gave you so many chances to make it right, Dad. The only reason you want me to go see her is because if I do, it means I'm forgiving you, too. Kevin! Sorry, Zoe, couldn't find that other bag. Kevin, please, I need your phone. I think you need to let your father finish. I was on the phone with Listen, Linda Cartwright from the I, Times and Dad I'm sure it wasn't as you important as... You need to leave now, Let Dad. him finish. I need, I need your her. phone. I don't have it. What? I must have left it at work or something. Don't joke around right now. This is not the time. Not the time. This is a matter of... Of life or death. More important. What could be more important than life? Kevin, the interview in the Times is what will get us the public sympathy. You know this. Now you're talking about sympathy? Those kids out there are dying, Dad. She wouldn't understand that. I wouldn't? Kevin, your phone. Great help you're being today. I don't know where it is. Okay, great. You're a convincing liar, honey. Now I need your phone. I tell you what, I'll try to find my this phone. Is ridiculous. As soon as the two of you have finished talking. We've talked. We just finished no, talking. You and your mother, Zoe. You need to see your mother. You did this. You called him and told him I was flying today. Uh, all I want is for you two to talk. Me too. You need to see her. I can't do that. Find Kevin. the time. It's not about that. Zoe, please. She needs to see you. I can't be in the same room with that woman. Zoe. I know what she did was terrible. 
but she needs you, Zoe. She needs you. Look at this from the other side of things. I know I have no leverage, no right to ask for your forgiveness, except for the love you have for me, for us. We're so sorry we failed you. Please, don't punish her like this. I can't go see her, Kevin. I have to make the time. It's not about when is that. It not a good you time don't to get it, do you? At court, sometimes I'll have to defend somebody that I know for a fact is guilty. And sometimes they even confess to me the first time I meet them. Now, some people will say that is the hardest thing a person can do to defend the guilty, to speak on behalf of someone who's done wrong. But you know, I see it the other way. If I know they're guilty, then the pressure's off. It's up to the other side to make the case, to seek justice. Because that's what the prosecutors always want. They want justice, blood. That's their job, it's not mine. My job is, is to defend to defend everybody who walks through that door and asks to be protected. Everybody. Everybody, even if they're guilty and they've confessed. Especially if they're guilty and they've confessed. You know what my parents did to me. What they failed to do, it wouldn't be fair. At the end of the day, we're all guilty, Zoe. So it's not just about what's fair or not, because at some point, every justice system implanted in this world by men is going to be flawed. So it can't just be about justice. You're telling me lawyers don't do justice, Kevin, that you don't it's do justice. It's about what you do. Me. The humanitarians, the do-gooders, those who are not just concerned with the, the law side of things, but also in touch with the other side, the, um, the human side. Those who travel around the world from place to place helping those in need, Bring resources to those who deserve it, money where it's needed, that's the kind of justice this world needs. That's not justice, that's love. I do that out of love for them. That's the only system that'll never be flawed. It's not that I don't love her, Kevin. She's my mother. They're my parents. Of course I love them. It's just, I can't look at her the way she is now. What I do on my job traveling around the world, helping people, relieving their struggles. I do all of that out of love for them. I love them, so I help them. That's what I do. I help, but going to that hospital room and seeing her just lying there and not being able to do anything, I'm helpless. Honey. You're a lawyer. You understand the irony. It's not just about help. Anybody can help. What's it about, then? It's about... Forgiveness, that's the best help you can give her right now. It's the only help you can give her. It's the only help that she needs. Zoe, only you have the power to do that. But how can I forgive them when I know they're just going to keep messing up over and over again? It's so hard for me to watch them keep hurting themselves and keep hurting me. It's endless. Well, that's the hardest thing. What is? To forgive, to keep forgiving, that is the hardest thing a person can do. What's that? Oh, that's, that's my phone. Your phone? <laughs> I found it. You weren't lying. You really didn't know where it was? I told you. I can't lie to you, Zoe. Who is it? It's Ralph. He's probably been trying your phone this whole time. You need to answer it? No. I have to go. I have to go see her. I know. It's the hospital. I know which one it is. I drive by it every day. Okay. Room 2. 215. Yeah. You really have been a huge help today. Yes. No, it's, it's me, Kevin. Her phone had a little bit of an accident. Um, yes, no, you can't talk to her right now, Ralph. I know the time still wants to speak with her. They're just going to have to wait a little bit. Hey, don't worry, Ralph. She's still going to save the world. 
She just has to save somebody else first. <laughs>